Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here. It's going to be another one of my transfer videos. Now, this one isn't going to be a rumor video. This one's purely done deals which have been done today which is july 1st when the actual transfer window officially opens now if there's ones which have been announced announced even already they won't be in this video what these are are ones which have been officially confirmed today officially confirmed by their twitter or whatever of a source they've got going for them we're gonna start off with a big boy and that's obviously zlatan ibrahimovic boom there he is on your screen no effects this video by the way it was a joke in the last video a few people got a little bit offended by that some t some titties flying around or whatever <laughs> But Ibrahimovic, Manchester United got their man finally. I think it was it was confirmed by Ibra yesterday, but Man United had gone and confirmed it today with a little strange video type thing they put together, which was quite cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Ibra to Man United is done. I mean, it's it's a, the worst kept secret, I think, but it's crazy. I can't wait to see him in the Premier League. Like I said before, not the ideal situation for me being a Leeds fan who's gone to Man United, but still, can't deny he's a fantastic footballer. Obviously, he's ageing. But doesn't seem to be affecting his footballing abilities. I think he had one of his best seasons last season, which is crazy. And um, hopefully he can do well in the Premier League. It would be nice to see him on match of the day and having an all-round good time. But the next player, boom, which is Hatem Ben Arfa, we won't be seeing on match of the day. Because he's gone to Paris Saint-Germain. Confirmed. I can believe this one. It's, I mean, he's had a phenomenal season, don't get me wrong. But just two years ago, or less than that, he was getting told by like Newcastle to play in the reserves and hold to like, not even get their team. Mental how good he's performed in the last year. Fair play to the guy. It proves that anybody can do anything. It really does. He's got his move to Paris Saint Germain. Massive move. A free transfer as well, which is obviously not good for Nice because they've probably got a bit of dollar out of him. But it is what it is. That's football. And uh, Paris Saint Germain have got him. He was linked with a lot of clubs. Obviously, been a free transfer. He's open to anybody. I think recently, most recently, people were thinking he may have gone to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace seemed to be making some transfers. But Ben Arthur's a done deal to Paris Saint Germain. You guys probably are aware of that one by now. But there you go. What do you guys make of that one? It's going to be cool for hybrids next year. It's not, well, not hybrids as such because he's French in the French League. It's not exactly the most amazing thing. But he'll definitely be going in one of my teams if he can keep his five-star skills, which he fully deserves because he's definitely a skiller in real life. The next player is Nolito, and this one is done deal again to Manchester City today. I think it's a good signing. It's been rumoured for a while now. He kind of got rumoured to a couple of clubs, and then it's like a couple of random clubs and then Man City finally like you know what we'll take him we'll just have him he had a good World Cup I keep saying World Cup good Euro for Spain while they lasted high low work rates on FIFA as well which is quite nice for a winger he's not blessed with the best pace on FIFA but he seems alright in real life I think they might have graded his pace next year I think it's a bit harsh this is an inform card as well but they've got their man he's going to get ultimate chemistry with the likes of David Silva and other players which is pretty cool he's got a link with Gundogan you know some nice Man City players happening at the moment but the next player is Steve Mandanda has gone to Crystal Palace I think it's a crazy one personally obviously he's a 91 rated team of the season card which is phenomenal also Pack Pold of myself good goalkeeper in game but Crystal Palace are making moves. They're signing some good players. They've let a couple of go as well. A couple go, I should say, as well. But Steve Mandanda personally thinks it's a really good signing. He's won like French goalkeeper of the year for like a couple seasons running, which is a good. It's good. It's very good. French league goalkeeper, I should say. I think Loris is obviously a better goalkeeper in general, gets in the French team and whatnot. But Steve Mandanda's not far behind. And a move to Crystal Palace might be good for him. Fair play. See how that one develops again. Hopefully it does quite well for them. The next player, again, another Crystal Palace done deal. And this was Andros Townsend. Now he only spent what, six months at Newcastle? But he's one of the ones, I think Newcastle fans have been a little bit harsh to him over on Twitter. He's been called a snake and whatnot. But at least he looked like he tried to keep them in the league. Whereas some of the Newcastle players, you could just say, was just rubbish, really rubbish. And I fully understand players when you get relegated wanting to stay in the Premier League. I mean, I know it's only a year and Newcastle obviously making good moves to potentially go back up first season, but you can never guarantee it. You, even if you have the best players, spend the most money, you, you just never know. You can never guarantee. You get a couple of injuries, you're in the shithouse. But Andros Townsend, done deal. I think it's like 13 million to Crystal Palace. I think it's like his release fee. I personally think it's a good move. Fantastic move. I think Crystal Palace are going to be going up there. And actually, breaking news this very second as I'm making this video is Crystal Palace have just had a bit of 25 million for Benteke. So they're, they're spending cash. Ridiculous amounts of money flying around at the moment. But moving to the next player now, we're going to move over to the Newcastle side of things. They lost Andros Townsend, but they got themselves a Dwight Gale. It's a done deal from the same team, Crystal Palace. So almost like a swap deal, but not quite. 
white there's a little bit of money difference i think it was like between 8 and 10 million for Gale, whereas like 13 million for Andros Townsend. So Newcastle have, have got to play on a little bit of cash for their uh, man. But they've gone and spent a lot more again on Matt Ritchie. He's another done deal. It surprised me when I said this one was a rumour. It's now official. Um, I think this one's like... I don't know. I think this one's between 10 and 12 million pounds, I think. So Newcastle spending a lot of dollars. I spent like over 20 million in a day, which is fantastic for them. Not so much for their owner, <laughs> losing 20 million worth of money but if you get promoted it's totally worth it totally worth spending the dollar if you get promoted which i hope leeds would do once but they're not really doing that because they don't have any money apparently but we'll move on to the next player now which is going to be stephen fletcher and this one came from nowhere I, well for me personally i didn't really pay much too attention to this one he was sleeping with a couple of clubs and then he just signed for sheffield wednesday today and i was like what completely random for me but like i said i don't follow any like sheffield wednesday news on my timeline on twitter so i may not have just not seen it happening in the background um but i think that's a fantastic signing for them i think he's still got a lot of potential he's still you know he's uh, he's done all right for certain clubs he's at sunderland he went on loan to marseille obviously and i think he did okay I think a lot of people say he scored in his debut and then scored in his last game but apart from that didn't do much in between but i don't know if that's confirmed so i mean i'll have to let me know in the comment section below but for a team like Sheffield Wednesday, they're also linked with Ross McCormack. I can't see them buying Ross McCormack as well as Fletcher. I think that'd be very weird because they've already got Hooper and they've already got that new who. I think people rate him quite highly unless he's gone. I don't really know. But Fletcher, Forrest, Dieri, Hooper. Oh my God. Sheffield Wednesday are going to have a really nice attack, I feel, personally. And I feel as if they're going to be one to watch this year, definitely. Again, they just missed out, obviously, losing the playoff final last year. But Stephen Fletcher could be the difference between playoffs and automatic. You just never know. The next player is a really fun one. This guy right here, Capacelli, uh, Scapacel or something. Low high work rate on FIFA, unbelievable pace. Blue team of the season card this is, and he signed for Watford in the badge com the badge uh, flag combo. I love it. Just any anything which looks similar, and I think the Watford flag is literally the colours of Belgium, so it's absolutely fantastic. It goes together really well, and um, I think it's a good signing. Watford have made some signings today. They've actually rejected like a 38 million bid for a Galo as well from the same team which bought Hulk. I think it is. Obviously, a Chinese team's got some Mula, but wow, they could have had like over 50 million for Dini. And Dini signed a new contract, by the way, if you didn't know that. Dini and Igalo together, over 50 million worth of money been rejected. And then they're buying players on top. Good times, in my opinion, to be a Watford fan. Moving to the next player now, which is another one which is just confirmed on their Twitter, which is Isaac Success has signed for Watford. What a name. What an unbelievable name. He's a young talent. Don't think he scored many goals for Granada last season, but he's still got a lot of potential. A lot of people were interested in signing him, and apparently it's, it's quite a big chunk of money. I'm not too sure exactly how much they've paid for him, but I think someone said it's like their, their record fee. I swear somebody said that, but I might be wrong, which I would assume would be quite a lot of money. Um, but he looks like a really decent player. He's got cool hair. Looks pretty cool. Watford, got the man. He's Nigerian. Striker. Not quite a Barlow. But he is what he is. We're moving on to the next player now, which is going to be John Egan. And uh, he's actually moved to Brentford. He was linked with going to Leeds like late last night. And it kind of come aware that he was going to Brentford. Um, and Brentford have got him. So Brentford have actually made a triple signing today. They're all in this video. So if you're a Brentford fan, I love triple signings. That's the way it should be all the time. A triple signing is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I think they were... Um, at different parts in the day, so went all in one go. But they got this guy. The next guy they got was Romain Sawyers, who actually had a really good season last season for uh, uh, Warsaw, I think it was. But what country is that? He plays for St. Kitts Nevis, apparently. Crazy. But he's a really good player in real life. A lot of hype around him. I think he used to play for, like, it was either Aston Villa or somebody like that. I can't remember exactly who it was. But Brentford have got their man. And the third one Brentford have got is a very good signing, in my opinion, which is Daniel Bentley, the young goalkeeper from, he was at South End. Just moved to Bre uh, Brentford, which I don't know what that means. Because the goalkeeper from Brentford, Button, I feel as if it's a fantastic goalkeeper, was linked with Leeds. But now having two really good goalkeepers, I know that's a really good thing to have. But one of them is going to get peed off if they're not playing enough. you got to you got to consider that. So it's never a good thing to have two amazing goalkeepers. Well, no, I say amazing. They're decent goalkeepers at championship level for sure. Bentley, maybe not so much. Obviously playing in League uh, League One last season. So we'll see how that one develops. But I feel as if it's a good triple signing for Brentford. So if you're a Brentford fan... Good luck to you. Elliot Lee is our next player. He has moved to Barnsley from, I do believe, West Ham. I think he was at. Um, he loaned out a couple of times last season. And Barnsley have just been promoted, obviously, to the championship. So it'd be nice to see how that kind of player plays. He's not got a great FIFA card. But like, like I said many times, that doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. This was his start of last season's card. He may have had a good season, and he may well be like a silver or something next season. You just don't know. Moving to the next player now, it's going to be Gabriel Angela. He's actually moved away from Watford to, I think it was Udinese. Might have to get that confirmed. Um, I'm not exactly too sure. I saw it on Twitter earlier. I always thought he was a decent defender, um, personally. 
But Watford now in the Premier League. He was a good defender at Championship level. I think he was on loan at QPR, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Watford now, obviously, in the Premier League um, for a couple of seasons now. And uh, they want to get better players, you would imagine. But the next player is Bidwell, Jake Bidwell. And he has moved for, I think it's like £1.2 million to QPR, which I think is a decent signing. Again, not a great FIFA card, but in real life, he looks good. Every time I watch and then play Leeds or other teams or Brentford. I see him on the on the TV. He looks decent. He always has looked decent, in my opinion. And um, we'll see how that one comes available. QPR spending some cash, about 1.2 million. I think that one was not bad at all. The next player is a guy who's been linked with Leeds for a while, a couple of seasons ago. He's joined Fulham. He's got a really nice FIFA card. It's a uh, non-shiny gold. Left wing with high low work rates, four star skills, four star weak foot. So FIFA wise, good sign in my opinion. In real life, I don't exactly know how he plays, what he does, but apparently he's not bad. I think he had an inform one year. Maybe wrong, maybe wrong. But he signed for Fulham, who seem to be um, rebuilding yet again. I don't, I, you don't know what's happening with Fulham, to be honest, because they've obviously got rid of Dembele, not to their own fault, but he, he went on a free to Celtic. And uh, Ross McCormick, like I said before, is getting linked to a move away, so they may have to reshape their team completely. You just never know how that's going to work. But I think that's a good signing, personally, for them. We'll move over to the next one now. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, and this is a Leeds one out. I'm so happy. Giuseppe Belushi's gone. He's gone to Empoli, who are actually a Serie A team, which is crazy. I, I, I mean, a lot of people hate this guy. And he's an absolute douchebag. Like, you wouldn't want him in your team. He's that kind of character. He's a bit of a hothead. But as a defender and on his day, he's actually a decent centre-back. If, But he doesn't get his day much. Let's put it that way. But maybe going back to, this, to Italy may do him wonders. Wish him all the best, to be fair. It's only on loan, but with an option to buy. So um, I'd imagine that's the last you'll see of him as a Leeds card or in, in Leeds any way, shape or form. But it is what it is. But Leeds have instantly replaced him with a guy which has been rumoured to be signing for a while now, which is Carl Bartley. And this one's a loan without an option to buy. Just a straight loan for a year or a season. And um, personally, I think it's decent. But I may be just saying that because I'm a Leeds fan. I never really know. I always think whenever they sign a player, yeah, it'll be good. And sometimes they let me down. But Bartley, I think, is a good championship centre-back. I mean, he's obviously been playing, well, not, maybe not playing, but at Swansea's Premier League set-up uh, for a while. I think he may have got loaned out a few times. I think he was at Rangers not long back. Might have been, actually. I can't remember. But I think it's a good signing, personally, because he's a big centre-back. He's English. He knows the, the setup at Leeds. Obviously, Gary Monk and the, and the Swansea back staff obviously coming into effect now. Um, I think it'll be good for him. But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, I like it. It's fantastic. Apologies that, again, it's lasted a little bit too long. I seem to be ranting or raving or just speaking too much, to be honest. But hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have a like about it, it's fantastic. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to subscribe. I will catch you next time and do a bye-bye. Boo!